second chance to Kirby. Must be surely is. Chelsea take the lead inside the opening two minutes. And Fran Kirby has her 50th WSL goal. What a start for Chelsea. What a run this is. Penina Harder to double Chelsea's lead. That is a fabulous goal. Pure quality from the UEFA Player of the Year 2020. And they've given it away again at the back. Kirby, is this to be the third? Surely yes. That combination once again. Reverse this time. Kirby to Kerr. Both get the plaudits. His turn to be pressured at the back. Here is Toon Russo deflection in. In off Millie Bright. Fortunate for Manchester United. And definitely not this. Chelsea restore their three goal advantage. Sam Kerr at the double. I think Sam Kerr is certainly. Well, she is offside. She is offside. It's not given by the assistant referee. We don't have VAR. Fleming for Chelsea. England's Spence. <laughs> Lovely goal. Chelsea have five. Chelsea on the move here. England. Fleming. Spence. Could she be in for her 50th Chelsea goal? Good save, Mary Herbs. Comes to Fleming. In six. So, Les, it was always going to be tough today against the reigning champions, wasn't it? Yeah, of course. I thought we prepared well in the week and we were up for it. Um, but we all know that performance wasn't good enough. We have high standards. And um, to concede that many in a game is never what we want. And I think we can go back to the training this week and really work hard and go forward from it. Is this going to be a good test for this side now to show our character? Because we're not used to losing, are we, by this amount? Yeah, absolutely. I think we're a great team and no one likes losing. And especially when we have such high standards of ourselves. And I think. Yeah, it's a massive learning curve for us. Obviously, it was disappointing today, um, but it's fuel for the fire now. We've got to get working, and we get working even harder than we were before. For you personally, you continue your recovery back to full fitness. You come on, score a goal, hit a crossbar. You must be pleased with that for you personally. I mean, yeah, obviously minutes is important, and I'm really happy, but obviously the result's bigger than that today. And I think that obviously it was getting to come back, and we, get, we shouldn't have lost like that today. It wasn't good enough, and I think, yeah, it was positive to get minutes, but... The result comes first, really. And how about the fans? You can hear them now. They've been chanting throughout the game. They've been great, haven't they? Yeah, I think the fans are amazing. We can never fault them home and away. And I think that it's credit to what they've set up here. And I'm sure they'll be there next week fighting us even louder. Yeah, and just finally then, it is Birmingham next in the Women's Super League. Opportunity to bounce back, isn't it? Yeah, of course. We go back to training this week and we work even harder. We hit the ground running again and, and we don't let this happen again and we learn from it. Yes, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> oh, we can see we've got a nice guest here. Emma, is that a bit high for you to do your singing? Yeah, clearly. That's right. It's fine. <laughs> Good to see you, Emma. Fine. Look, you had a team full of internationals that have just come back from yeah. a break that you didn't have much time to prepare. I mean, Farrah's been talking about it. Yeah. How has this kind of the lead up to this game been for you and how proud are you of the, the high We're used to it. Everyone talks about that. We know how to do this. I've got an amazing dressing room. Let's talk about Drew Spence, Beth England, Jesse Fleming, Georgia Flock, Yona Anderson coming off the bench. Yeah raising the bar for the last two goals. We got world-class attackers, and that's what they showed today. I didn't think we were very good, <laughs> to be honest <laughs> with you. Harsh. I thought we were poor in the first half by our standards, and we were 3-0 up, so I expect another level. What, what is the other level then? Because in that first yeah, half, that. United were not able to handle that high press, so what do you think you would have done differently? I think we're a better team than we've ever been. I think we're miles better than we were last year. So if our build-up and our possession in the ball is it something we've improved I wasn't happy with it in the first half but with Sam Fran that goal from Penila oh, yeah. I've seen yeah. her score goals like that <laughs> reminds me of I that I was gonna say did you give her a free roll in that first half just to find those pockets of space come on tell us <laughs> you know because she started on the left but then she come into the middle and she was playing off the shoulders I changed something within the flow of the game because I felt we were getting a bit overloaded and then put Penila in a position 
where she's at her best to carry balls and I felt there were spaces that she could exploit and we gave her some instruction to do that. She was so powerful, so direct. She's been, listen, first thing we need to say is she takes time to settle in this country. Penila this pre-season has been unbelievable. I'm so proud of her for that goal because I know how much she put into it. Our last game against Devon, I don't know how she didn't score, did everything but. There's others that take all the credit and whatever, but Penila is a top, top player. She top is a top player. player and so involved in the build-up yeah. play as well. Let's talk about another top player, Sam Kerr, yeah. scoring as well after, just after United replied. Now, the replay seems to suggest, we haven't seen them yet, but they seem to suggest that she may have been offside. And I know you're a big advocate of goal line technology, of VAR. I know, <laughs> I know, but it went in your favour today, didn't it? No, open it up, tell us. So, I, I think... I understand we've got to make our officials full-time first before VAR, but to be fair, I think she, we should have scored sooner. Uh, when she gets her first goal in the game, I think she had chances to score a little earlier. Yes, it's clearly offside. If you, you know, look at the replay, look at the position of the lines person. But listen, we've got to keep putting the investment into our officials and support the FA to develop them for the next level. And then hopefully technology will follow that. Yeah. Emma, it's been great to talk to you. Really a comprehensive victory. Enjoy your trip back home. <laughs> that with the player of the match, Penila Harder, is with Joe Curry. Penila, congratulations on the win. How much did you enjoy playing in that one? Yeah, it was, a, it was a great win. Six one away against Man United. It's, uh, it's an amazing performance. Uh, you know, uh, to uh, defend. Uh, you scored a wonderful goal this afternoon. Fran Kirby and, and Sam Kerr also on the score sheet. How much do you enjoy playing alongside those two? Oh my. But yeah, I mean, also the whole team. Uh, I think we have a really great team now. You also see with the with the players uh, come into the to the game, um, they have an impact. To work goals, to work hard. I think that's that's one of our biggest strengths this year that we have such a big squad. That was such a dominating victory. But Emma's just said there are parts of the game where she didn't think Chelsea played very well. How much better can you get this season? How much more to come is there? I, I don't hear what you're saying, to be honest. I don't know what to answer. I can't hear you. Can Chelsea get this season? How much better we can get? I think we can get better all the time. We develop uh, from every game, from every training we have. Uh, I think we play better now than last season, and I think we will get better and better. You are the Barclays Player of the Match. Here's your trophy. Congratulations. For me? For you. Okay. Thank you.